out of your way. Open up your mouth, say It's New Year's Eve. New home, it's New Year's Eve. We made it. We made it. If you're glad about it, you ought to clap your hands, open up your mouth, and release a sound of worship. A sound of worship in this place. I'm going to wait for you to get it. We ain't going to wait to the end. We came to church. We might as, get, might as well get what we came for. He kept us. He's been a keeper. He's been a mind regulator. He's been a heart fixer. He's been Jesus. He's been Jesus. He's been Jesus. Open up your mouth, Zion, and give God praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm just I'm just looking for the people. The people that came to church and say, "Hey, he's been he's been too good for, to me this year." The people that say, "I don't mind, look, neighbor, I know we're close, but hey, he's been a keeper. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord." Hallelujah. Anybody excited about this new year? We greet you in the name of the Lord. If you would do me a favor before we begin service, if you can, squeeze on down. Squeeze on down. It's a good thing when we have to squeeze on down. I mean, people came to church. 
the myth is that people ain't coming to church no more and they don't want Jesus. But the devil is a liar, huh? Look around. Look around. Look around. <laughs> Glory to God. Listen, if we haven't had the, the privilege to meet, my name is Minister Joseph Thomas. And on behalf of our pastors, Lee B. Walker Jr., we honor you and thank you for uh, joining us tonight for Watch Night Service. Give yourselves a hand. Listen, tonight, we're going to honor God. We're going to worship God for all that he's done. It's been an amazing, amazing 365. Um, and we honor God for allowing us. Many didn't make it. We buried some people. We've lost some loved ones. Tonight, I, I have my grandfather on my wrist. His ashes are on my wrist. I lost my grandfather this year. Um, but I thank God that I'm still here. <laughs> some of us, it just takes a memory. We just, just think back and say, hey, the devil tried to kill me, but I'm still here. Yeah. I could have lost the fight, but I'm still here. And for tonight, that's what we're going to do. We're going to honor God by all that he's done this year. Anybody going to honor God tonight yeah. as we go into the new year? Hallelujah. Let me pray, and we're going to jump into service. Father, we thank you for all that you've done this year. God, tonight we're hungry. Tonight, as we embark upon this new year, Father, we put you first. So, Father, have your way in this service. Let it be all about you and none about, nothing about us, Father. Teach us, endow us with your word. Have your way. Throw your weight around in this service. In Jesus' name. Come on, if you're ready to go higher, come on, won't you clap your hands and give God praise.
he still, he still comes, and he still sits on the throne. He's keeping me, he's kept me, he's kept me, he's kept me. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. How would you act? How would you act if he walked in the room? How would you act if he walked in the room? I need you to look down your road, tell somebody it was only God's grace. It was only. Come on, tell them it was God's grace. It was God's grace. Yeah, yeah. Come on, give God praise in the house. I say, give God praise in the house. 
Help me tonight. I need thee. Come on, open your mouth, church. Yeah. Every hour, I need thee. Oh, bless. Hallelujah. Me now, my Savior. If it's you, you ought to open your mouth and lift up your hands and shout, I come, hallelujah, to, Lord, I come to thee, let the church say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Is there anybody who needs God tonight? I said, do you need God tonight? I want you to lift up your hands if you need them. Come on, come on. If you need prayer tonight, lift your hands and shout, I need them. I need them. Come on. Come on. If you need them, come on. Open up your mouth right now and tell them, I need you. I need you. Come on, don't walk into 2024 with a closed mouth. Tell them I need you. I want you to think about three things that you need God to shift before we walk into 2024. Get that on your mind. And at the count of three, I want you to release those three things into the atmosphere. One, two, three. Tell them what you need. Three things. Tell them. Tell them right now. Hallelujah. Spirit of the living God, we ask for you to fall fresh on us right now in this moment. We need you right now more than ever. Kind of Father, we walked into this service and although we look nice and we smell good and we have our Sunday go to meeting on, kind of Father, we stand in the need of a touch from you. So right now, God, I'm asking for you to touch each of us in this moment. From the top of our head to the soles of our feet, kind of Father, fill us up until we overflow. Father God, there are some in the room who stand in the need of healing. Even those who are watching in the social sanctuary tonight who need a touch from you. You are Jehovah Rapha, so do what only you can do. Heal, deliver, and set free right now in the name of Jesus. Touch them wherever they're at. If they're in this room, I'm asking for you to go through every pew right now. Pull whatever infirmity, whatever issue, whatever ailment that they're dealing with right now and deliver them right now in the name of Jesus. Sovereign God, our Father, there's somebody who's dealing with mental anguish and suicidal ideations. We bind suicide in the name of Jesus. The Lord rebuke you right now. We ask for you to give that individual peace that surpasses all understanding. Fill them with joy and hope that if they just keep their hand in your hand, you will carry them through. Lord God, we stand right here testifying that you have been better to us than we've been to ourselves. And as we stand here on the last Sunday of the year, kind Father, we want to bless your name because you are worthy. We want to bless your name because you kept us even though we didn't deserve to be kept. You healed us even though we didn't deserve to be healed. You brought us even though we didn't deserve to be brought. We thank you for what you've done so far. Kind Father, there's a spirit in this room where somebody is on the periphery of wanting to give up. Kind Father, even though a new year is getting ready to come, they've been ready to quit on you. Kind Father, I'm asking for you to revive them again. Restore to them everything that the enemy took this year. Yeah, glory to God. Give them back everything, kind Father. Give them their joy back, yeah. Give them their peace back, yes. Give them their hope back, yes. Bless them financially, yes. 
Lord God, give them what they stand in need of in this moment. Father, we need a shift tonight. So I'm asking for you to touch the manservants who will deliver the word. Give them strength and clarity and wisdom, kind Father, to preach a word that's timely and right, Lord God. As we walk into this new year, we need a word from you. We gonna shout, we gonna dance, but we need a word. So give them a word, kind Father, that will fall on good ground. And Lord, if you do that, what we'll do is we'll be careful to give your name the praise, the glory, and the honor. And Satan, because we know you're listening, we want to declare tonight that you are still defeated in the name in the name of Jesus. Satan, the Lord rebuke you right now. Get out of the way. And Lord, have your way in this place. In the name of Jesus. Do it, Lord. I said, do it, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Every glad heart say together, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Will you say that with me? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We honor you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, welcome, welcome again to New Home Mountain Megs. Um, we're going to take this small window of opportunity just to um, greet your neighbor to the left and to the right behind you if you haven't already. And do us a favor. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, neighbor. Meet, meet your few minutes. Listen, are there any first time visitors in the house of the Lord tonight? Any first time visitors in the house of the Lord? New home, can we bless the Lord for our first time visitors that's with us? Listen, first time visitors, if you would take your phone out and text embrace to the number that's on the screen, that's 41372. If you would take your phone out and, and um, text the number 41372, text embrace to 41372. We won't haunt you, we just wanna say thank you for uh, coming and worshiping with us. New home, can we bless the Lord again for our first time visitors? Will you take this opportunity also to do us a favor? Take out your phone, everybody, and uh, share the broadcast for us. Um, we know that a lot of people won't come into the house of the Lord, but we can get the, the word to them. And so if we take this small window of opportunity in our service um, just to share it on our Facebook, we share everything else. You shared about T.D. Jakes, but you can share about tonight. Amen. Amen. So take this small window of opportunity just to share the broadcast. Let them know, hey, go into the new year with a word. There's a word in the house tonight, and we want you to be edified. And so whether they're driving, they can still tune in from wherever they are. To our e-campus, we thank God for you for tuning in with us, and we welcome you. New home, can we thank God for everybody that's watching online as well? Amen. We want to take this opportunity now to, to give. If you have a need for an envelope and you would like to partner with us in an offering, um, you can, can wave your hand and our, um, our offering um, attendants will come at this time with an offering envelope. You can also do so via Givelify and New Home Missionary Baptist Church or Cash App Dollar Sign New Home Strong. Amen. Amen. God loves a what kind of giver? A cheerful giver. Pastor teaches us we all can't give in the same quantity, but we can't give in the, uh, I'm sorry, the same quanti quantity, but we can't give in the same quality. Amen. Amen. Let's give unto the Lord.
Amen. Look at somebody say, keep smiling. It's still offering time. Y'all looking like somebody did something to y'all. Amen. How many know God's been faithful? I said, how many of you know God's been faithful? As I look back over my life, I can see how his love has guided me. And even though I've done wrong, he never left me alone. But he forgave me and he kept on blessing me. This I recall to my mind, therefore I have hope. It's because of his mercies that we are not consumed. Because that compassion fell not, though I knew every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. If he been faithful, come on, put your hands together. Come on, put your hands on it. You been set. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 you been oh, oh, yeah. As I look back over my life, I can see how his love is guiding me and even though I've done wrong he never left me alone but he forgave me and he kept on blessing me this I recall to my mind therefore I have hope it's because of your mercies that we are not consumed because thy compassion fell not they undo every morning Great is thy faithfulness. Come on, y'all help me. You've been. Yeah. Everybody jump to your feet. Come on, jump to your feet. Say you've been. Yeah. Lord, you've been so faithful. Y'all mind if I wrap my favorite part? Come on. I can never repay you Lord, for what you done for me. How you loose my shackles and you set me free. How you made a way out of no way. Turn my darkness into day. You've been my joy when I was in sorrow. Oh, for my tomorrow. Peace in the time of the storm. Straight cut the music. Never repay. Never repay. How he made a way. My joy, hope for my hope. Hey, come on, help me. Say you be here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I didn't deserve it, but you worried you. Yeah. All right. Everybody stand to your feet. Extend your right hand towards heaven. Everybody standing right hand towards heaven. Repeat after me. Say, Lord, with a cheerful heart, I sow my seed. Say, today, I planted in good ground. Say, I believe my needs are met and my family is blessed. Say, I'm expecting. Yell it like you believe it. Say, a supernatural harvest. In Jesus' name, amen. Come on, give God praise that you were able to give. Awesome. I want to do something. God is doing some major things in the life of New Home. New Home, make some noise. I want to, I want, Joseph, if you could stand right here for me. We're excited because God has legitimately caused this ministry to be so big and impact so many people. And while I'm only 35, I realize that there's some young folk who need someone who can talk to them. There's a generation that needs someone that can talk to them. 
And so while we're in this sanctuary, there's always a slew of young people over in the gym that are still learning the same lesson that we're learning. And much of that credit goes to those who have been working in our youth ministry. Now, what's exciting about this new season we're walking in is that we realize that ultimately there needs to be someone who is capable of steering them in the admonition of the Lord, making sure that what they're learning is doctrinally sound and making sure that they are growing to be better disciples of Jesus Christ. The reality is God has not called any church to a great number of growth for only one person to be in charge. And so God will always send a minister if there's a ministry that people need to be ministered in. And so I'm excited that around this time last year, God sent a minister. And we are going to name him our next gen pastor. Hallelujah. Our next gen pastor, Pastor Joseph Thomas. So at this time, at this time, I want to, I want to charge him. I want to charge him. Yes, if it was real Baptist, somebody say, charge him, Reverend. Charge him. Charge him, Reverend. I want to charge him. I, I, I definitely thank God for you. Um, just a few weeks ago, we were talking about a book that I was reading while I was on the cruise. And uh, we talked about who needs to be on your team. We talked about how this book talked about you need hungry people on your team. Because hungry people take initiative. We talked about how this book said you need humble people on your team. Because humble people are still coachable. You can actually correct them and they don't get in their feelings. It said you need hungry people. It said you need humble people. Then it said you need smart people. You need people who understand who they are and how they are and have intelligence to decipher and discern how others are. Because what happens in the church, Joseph, a lot of people claim church hurt and it really is church hurt simply because there was somebody who thought they knew everything and they said it the wrong way. And they left a train or a whole uh, a bunch of car carcasses behind them because they were damaging people while getting the work done. And I believe not only do you need smart people, not only do you need humble people, not only do you need hungry people, but you need people in your ministry who simply, listen to me, I see you looking, is you listening? Here it is, he looking and listening. You need people who love the pastor and the vision of the house. The problem with the church today is everybody wants to be in control, but no one wants to submit to God. And when God gives you someone to be submitted under, that's someone you've got to follow until God tells you otherwise. I charge you like the old Baptist preacher would say, to teach the word in season and out of season. When they want to hear it, when they don't want to hear it. I charge you, Joseph, to relate to them, but don't compromise for them. There's a lot of preachers compromising for the young people because they want to do so to win them and then they lose themselves. Be who you are in God. Teach them the word when they don't want to hear it. And I believe God's going to reward you in a great way. If you believe it, can you make some noise for this man of God? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask real quickly, all of my ordained ministers, I, I'd love for my ordained ministers to come at this time. I want you to lay hands on them, and we're going to pray. All of the ordained preachers, hallelujah, surround him, surround him. Pops, you want to come over here? That's his daddy. They look like brothers, but that's his daddy. <laughs> hallelujah. Father God, we thank you for what you've sent to us. We thank you, Father God, that he submitted to you. We thank you, dear God, that in all of who he is, you made him to be one, Father God, who realizes that it's not about him, but it's all about you. God, it's our prayer that as he begins to steer and guide these young people in the direction you'd have them to go, that God, you'd allow him to walk boldly, that you'd allow him, Father God, to speak boldly, 
that you'd allow him father God to relate but not compromise that God titles don't go to his head but rather father God you'll keep him humble titles won't go to his head father God you'll keep him hungry titles won't go to his head father God he'll always realize that he is the one who follows you and not the other way around so God is our prayer that as he moves forward in this season and as he continues to do all you've called him to do father God no weapon that's formed against him shall be able to prosper the devil can't have his mind the devil can't have his heart father God and we believe father God through his walk that you're going to get the glory God through his talk you're going to get the glory through his service you're going to get the glory through his sacrifice you're going to get the glory God we pray it to be so in the mighty name of Jesus we won't wait till the results of this moment but rather Father God we'll praise you in advance because we got a spirit of expectation that God you're about to blow his mind and you're going to blow our minds in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, all of God's children shout amen, shout amen, shout amen. Come on, give God praise for what he's doing. Y'all can do better than that. Come on. Anybody came for a word today? Amen. I think all else has been done. Did we miss anything else? No, we didn't. All right. Amen. Uh, can I give y'all this speech now? Uh, please be safe wherever you go after New Home. Amen.
speak it like you mean it. Touch, touch. Down in my eye. Anybody got great joy? I said, does anybody got great joy? Hallelujah. Can we bless the Lord for our senior choir? Hallelujah. My God. Y'all did amazing. Two services in one day, y'all. <laughs> Come on, one more time. Can we bless the Lord for our senior choir? Glory to God. Listen, it is time for the word. Anybody ready for the word? Listen, we're going to get you this word and we're going to get you out of here so you can be safe, as Pastor said. Amen. Um, and that's our prayer for you, that whatever you're getting into after service, that you, you're safe. Um, we want you to get the word and we want to see you in 2024. Our word for the uh, new year is more. Uh, that's more God in us. More God through us. And then more to us. And, uh, and as we... we, we journey throughout 2024 God is going to take us through that and pastor is going to teach us on what God has given him for this house Amen. and tonight uh, we have a, a, a message for you that's going to help us 
kickstart what, what more looks like for us in our lives. Amen. There's one scripture uh, for you. If you would, stand to your feet. Stand for the reading of the word. One scripture found for you in Luke 13, starting at verse number six. I don't know about you, but I'm just amazed at how many people at the house of, in the house of the Lord tonight. It's beautiful to see. Um, we just lost uh, another young person in the city um, last week, I believe, uh, this week. Um, and he went to Carver High School. He lost his brother on last week, or last year, this same time. Um, and just to see the young people in church tonight. Uh, can, can we bless the Lord for our young people? Listen, listen. You you, you may not get them to, to come every Sunday, but you just keep on praying. <laughs> Something I, I share with people all the time. Ask God to give you wisdom on how to talk to these young people. The wisdom on how to. And whatever that how to is, he's going to teach you. How to do the TikTok. That's that how to. Because you ain't going to get them by just talking to them. My daddy used to make me watch Jesus of Nazareth all night long and play Monopoly. And then pay my tithes to in Monopoly. And then God take all my money. But whatever the how to is, you, you, you pray for God. God, give me wisdom on how to. This generation ain't lost. They ain't lost. You just need wisdom on how to get God to them. <laughs> Luke, Luke chapter number 13, starting at verse 6. And it says, and he told this parable. A man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard. And he came seeking fruit on it and found none. Verse number 7. And he said to the vine dresser, look, for three years now I have come seeking fruit on this fig tree, and I find none. Cut it down. Why should it use up the ground? Verse number eight. And he answered him, sir, let it alone this year also until I dig around it and put on manure. Verse number nine. Then, if it should bear fruit next year, well and good, but if not, you can cut it down. Father, we thank you for your word. Speak to us now in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated. Pastor's going to talk to us from a subject tonight. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. This, time, this time, it will be different. Mr. Mr. Keeper, all right, you know what time of the year it is. We got to look at these plants. My vineyard. You know what we do every, every year this time? M Mr. Keeper, come on now. I don't have that much time. It's time for us to look at what we got here. Oh, come on, come on. Come on. Let's get these plans. We need to figure out what's going on with. Mr. Keeper, I just want to pause right here. I may be a little out of character, but I want to thank you for the great job you're doing at this vineyard called New Home. Can we thank God for him? Come on. We got to do it. Come on, if you're in the vineyard called New Home, you ought to be making some noise. I'm so glad we hired you in this vineyard. <laughs> now, Mr. Keeper, you, you know what we do every year this time. This is an important time uh, of the year because we can't go into next year without looking at what we did this year. Yes, sir. Examination is, in, is important. And in order. It's in order. Absolutely. Everybody's doing it in their, in their vineyards. You know that, right? Yeah. And so uh, I want us to look at these... Uh, 
these plants here. Yeah, you got you got to help me out. Oh, that one looks good. You, yes. you just, it's doing pretty good. Hold on, what's? Ah. It's beautiful. <laughs> now, Mr. Keeper, we didn't went through this for three years. And uh, these other ones looking good. The grapes looking good. Mm. Ain't this the tree? Oh, well, yeah, yeah. Th th this the same plant we came to last year. Didn't, didn't we do that? The first year. Uh huh. The second year. Yeah. And, and the third. Well, 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 hold on. I'm gonna tell you this, boss man. I gave the tree everything it needed <laughs> mm -mm. to grow. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I, I gave it its own space. I gave it some good, where is it? Some good soil. Okay. And it definitely has the sun. I don't know what's wrong with this tree. I can tell you what's wrong. I put it here for a purpose. I planted this tree for a purpose. Uh -huh. You see, we got all these, these grapes here. Uh -huh. they, they're growing, but there's a reason I put this tree here. I could have left it like, like, like the other trees on the side of the road, but I put this tree here uh -huh. for a purpose. Every tree what, has a purpose. You what, know what, that, right? What, what purpose does it have? Well, let me tell you. You, you know... In, in our day, we have all kinds of vineyards. Uh -huh. See, we, we got, now, we got to make some money, because that's, that's the only way I pay you. Uh, well, I, yeah, you know we, that, need, right? we need to make some money. Uh, so, 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 so what's going to make our vineyard different mm -hmm. if our wine tastes like everybody else's wine? So I put this plant here. I put this tree here because it's supposed to grow figs. Mm -hmm. Now, what makes it different is that, yeah, everybody else around town, they, they, they making wine, they growing grapes, but our vineyard mm -hmm. is supposed to be different. It's supposed to be different. Because if this tree grows the way it's supposed to grow, uh -huh. guess what's going to happen to the wine? What's going to happen? It's going to be Fig infused wine. Ooh. They ain't got that nowhere. Uh uh. No, no, no. Because, see, I, I started this vineyard to be different. To be different. This vineyard ain't supposed to well, be average like everybody why, else. Why can't it be like everybody else? Oh, no, 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 no. See, see you are never, never going to make any profit. Uh -huh. You never going to have any more uh -huh. trying to be average and like everybody else. But everybody else look like they got it going on. Oh, see, looks can be confused this evening. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, it, see... See, you got to understand something. My intention mm -hmm. is not for looks. Oh. It's the fruit that matters. Preach, man. You, you, you see what I'm saying? That, that's why I got you here. Mm -hmm. I got you here. I'm here. We're going out of character again. Because he's at new home for every one of y'all to grow fruit. Not just to come and have a good time. Okay, okay. okay. I put this tree here. Uh-huh. I don't need it taking up space. Uh -huh. if I, 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 ain't, I, don't have, I don't have any time for wasted time and space. Okay, okay. If it's not producing, get rid of it. Okay, okay, okay. Get rid of it. I, I just, on, I can't take it no more. I done gave it more than enough time. No. More than enough time. No, 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 no. Can you please give it one more year? I, I mean, just one more I done gave round. it three. Well, just one more, though. Please. I gave it three. Please. See, 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 I want to tell you that I think there's more. I think that there's more that it can produce. If only uh, I dig. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. What you doing there? I'm digging. <laughs> Be quiet while I'm digging. Uh, so what you mean to tell me is that just because you in ground don't mean you in the right ground. 
and that sometimes it's not that you the wrong tree, you just in the wrong soil. Is that, is that what you're telling me? Oh, okay. So you digging because sometimes it can be good soil, but it's dry. Can't nothing get in because it's so hard. You talking about bitterness and past hurt and trauma? Is that what make ground dry? Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. So it could have grown, but can't nothing get through it. So you mean to tell me that if, if, if I want more, I got to break up some stuff in my heart and in my life? I got to let some stuff go? Because before, b before we can get the right thing in, we got to get the wrong stuff out. We got, we got the 12 o'clock, don't we? We got a few more hours to dig up some stuff. Okay, all right, okay, all right. But I ain't going to just dig. What, what else you going to do now? I'm going to dunk it. Hold, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on now. Hold, hold on now. I don't, I don't like I don't like putting my hands in that. Mm -mm, no. It smells good. Now you know you smelling by faith now. Cause, Cause the last time I checked, that dong is stuff folk don't like to smell. Ain't it? Ain't it a it, it, I you know, people don't like handling that. So you mean to tell me that there's purpose in mess? <laughs> there's purpose in the mess, Doc. There's but it depends whose hands it is, it's in, right? Absolutely. Oh, so, so, so I made some mistakes and I've got some faults and I've got some flaws, but, but, but you can use that mess? Yeah, the stinky stuff. The, the stuff they don't want us to put on Facebook. Oh. Or Instagram. Or TikTok. Oh. You know, all of us got mess, don't we? Every last one of us got some mess. But it still has usefulness. Absolutely. So you mean to tell me that the old stuff can be used to get me the stuff I ain't even got? The, the stuff that don't smell good uh -huh. can get me right. It don't really look good either. It don't. But it still help you get better. Now, the last time I checked, you know, this is mess from something else and somebody else. Yeah, yeah, they call it feces. So you mean to tell me that sometimes other folk mess can help me build my mess? A absolutely me grow because in the midst of their misery you can find ministry oh my god say that say that one more time say that one more time i, I said in the midst of their misery you can you can be used for ministry so should i i shouldn't keep my mess to myself right no you 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 you, you don't always have to because my mess can be a blessing to somebody else absolutely oh wow I yeah. like what you're doing here. So you, you, you dug around it. Uh -huh. What else you did? I, I, I was digging. Uh huh. Cause I had to remove some stuff that was too close to it that wasn't no good for it. Okay, okay. And now I'm dunging it because a little bit of some mess mm. can make them more useful. And if we let this get to the sun. It's going to produce more. So that's how this time is going to be different. Absolutely. So, so this time is going to be oh, different because wow. I've taken my time and my energy with it by providing a space for it. Uh -huh. By providing the soil that mm -hmm. you gave me yeah. and giving it as much sun as I could. But this time, since I had to Beg you for an opportunity? Uh, yeah, you did. Because you're such you a did. mean boss. I was getting rid of both of y'all in a minute. I, <laughs> I had to get it to myself mm. 
I had to dig out some stuff that should not have been in it. Okay. And I had to put some messy, stinky, smelly stuff that it might not have thought that it needed. But although I put it there, it's going to help it produce better. Now, now I got to tell you this. This is simply the process I'm calling uh, intervention, participation. Mm -hmm. And now I've got an anticipation that things are going to be different this time. I just got a feeling that when the tree gets what it needs this time, it's Mm. not going to waste what God gave it. Mm. I just got a feeling that when the tree acknowledges how good its owner has been to it this time. Okay. That it's not going to waste this moment again. Mm. I I just got a feeling. I mean a sneaky like Holy Ghost suspicion. I'm with you. That when this year of 2024 comes around. That all of the trees I see in the room. Aren't going to sit there looking bougie, pompous and pious. But they're going to give God the best that they can. So that God can produce out of them what God desires for them. And I don't know who we talking to now, but I think there's at least 120 trees up in the house that can say by this time next year, my testimony will be different. I will not be wasteful, but I'm going to give God the glory. I, I, I just, I, I, so you mean to tell me that, that, that the trees on this table ain't the only trees? No, you ain't hear them loud trees in here. Oh man. So so there's a tree on this side too? Yeah, I see about 52 of them over there. They ain't acting like they trees, uh uh-uh. uh. Are there trees over here too? It's a big one standing in front of you. Oh Mr. Keeper. There are trees over here too? There's some loud trees over there. Okay, I uh, I uh, Right you here. know this. You know this feel better than me. What? Yeah, few, Are there some trees over there? A few of them got to come together to make one tree. Look at. I I know it's got to be some trees in the balcony. I see the trees. Oh, they they are trees whose leaves will not wither. Mm. And, and they ain't just settling for more time. But they say this is going to be different because I'm going to do something different with my time. Yes, sir. So, so I'm going to give them more time. Yes, sir. But I could give them more time. And if you do the same thing uh, that y'all been doing for three years, uh-huh. it's going to be the same thing 24. Yeah, same result. So I'm giving you more time. Uh-huh. But I'm putting some action with that time. And now it's going to be different. It's going to be different. Oh, keeper, keeper, keeper. What? What? Yeah, yeah. So that means that where I am right now, where, where, where I am, ain't the end of the story? No, no. You're not where you're supposed to be, but you, you ought to thank God you're not where you used to be. Oh. I, just, I, 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 think, I think some trees ought to just pause right there. I think it's and, a good time. And, 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 and just thank him that... You're, you're, at the, you're at the precipice of a new year and, and I dare you to look at the tree next to you <laughs> and say, don't judge me where I am right now. Yeah. But eyes have not seen. Eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard. Yeah. Neither has it entered. Yeah. Into the hearts of men. Uh-huh. What we're going to look like. Uh-huh. Because of the keeper. Uh-huh. Just look at somebody and say, I'm still here. I'm still here. Because of my keeper. Because of the keeper. I'm still alive. Yeah. Because of my keeper. Because of the keeper. I didn't make it this far. Yeah. Because I was keeping myself. Because I can't keep myself. Yeah. I know I, I wouldn't be in my right mind. Yes, sir. If I didn't have a keeper. Uh-huh. I'm so glad for you, Mr. Keeper. Yeah. But I think we ought to set the record straight tonight uh-huh. because some people, uh, they think they boo is their keeper. Hey, 
they think that the that the one that's paying them is their keeper and uh, and the problem of the text is that the text didn't tell me the name of the keeper so before we leave here tonight and before we go into the next year I think we ought to name the keeper who is the keeper I'm looking for some trees that can help me call the keeper's name I, I know we celebrate it Pastor Lee but is there anybody in here that can lift up your hands and say I know I know the name of the keeper can y'all help me call him Jesus Jesus Mary's baby Jesus Jesus Joseph's son oh Jesus some people say he's a rock in the weary land can you tell us about yourself keeper I'm bread when you're hungry I'm water when you're thirsty what because I am the keeper yeah I'm the Alpha and Omega tell us I'm the beginning are. and the end yeah I'm the lily in the middle of the valley the wheel in the middle of the wheel y'all know me don't you what's the keeper's name they hung him high yeah and they stretched him wide he hung his head yes he did for you and me he died yeah y'all know him don't you yeah i wish you nudge somebody and say can't nobody do me like jesus do me like jesus can't nobody can't nobody hold me like jesus yeah and yes i'm here because he didn't just die but i'm so glad tonight that when he died he stayed there all friday he stayed there all saturday but early, early, that's how i know i can bounce back yeah. because early, early, right early right early yo let's be good baptist Sunday morning, uh, he got up. Is there anybody here that can say, I can't stay in my seat? Because if he got up, that same power can pick me up. And uh, I got a feeling that there's some trees here tonight that have made up their mind. I won't let this time go to waste and I need y'all help tonight if you made up your mind I need you to nudge somebody y'all acting stink now I said nudge somebody yeah. and say this time this time won't be the last time won't be the last but I thank God yeah I got one more yeah one more chance yeah one more opportunity yeah one more day yeah. but i'm glad to know he's not the god of the one more chance but he is the god of another chance and another chance and another chance and another chance and another chance chance. because when i look back over my life i've been used up one chance already and i can look at myself i said look at yourself and say self if it had not been if it had not for the lord's grace for the lord's mercy i wouldn't be here yeah y'all ain't with me look at somebody and say i am still here and it's by the grace of god look at somebody yeah tell them i am still here still here and it's by the grace of god and yeah i dare you to just look at somebody and say take a good look 
at me right now. In fact, I, I'm going to take a selfie right now. I'm going to take a selfie. Come on, everybody. Take out your phone right now. Take a picture of yourself. Come on, flip it to yourself. Take a picture of yourself. And I want you to keep that picture as a reminder that this is my last time looking like this. This is my last time in this tax bracket. This is my last time living with a broken heart. This is my last time selling for less than I deserve but I I said I got a feeling that better is on the way I got a feeling that there's more in 2024 I won't be where I was I won't be down anymore but God is able to make me the lender and not the borrower. Make me the head and not the tail. Make me above and not beneath. Now unto him who is able, him able to do exceeding yeah. abundantly yeah. above yeah. all that I ask or think. I need you to look at somebody this is the last time I said look at them and say neighbor I got to speak to you I got a word for you yeah. I got to tell you yeah. be not dismayed whatever whatever between you cause God will the keeper will, God will. he'll keep your mind he'll heal your body He'll take you higher. Won't he do it? Yeah. I said, won't he do it? Yeah. If you know he will, shout yeah. 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 So neighbor, I think we ought to put a down payment on how we go act December 31st. 24. I want everybody get you a praise partner and say neighbor because he's given us more time because we gonna participate we gonna do something different tell them neighbor I want us to act like we at 24 we at 23 now but let's shout like we're at next year this time so neighbor when the preacher counts to three you shout for me I shout for you come on get you a praise partner on the count of three let every tree that believe the worst is over best is yet to come that can thank God for where you gonna be by next year this time let's show God how you gonna act at 24 one two Hold up. Now listen. Now some of y'all shouting like 2022. If this is going to be a different year, I think you ought to try giving God a different kind of shout. I mean, I think your progress is worth messing up your half. 
I think tonight we ought to go ahead and pregame, not for where you're going tonight, but for where God's about to take you in 24. One, two, one, two, three, shot. for me my soul cries out praise him praise him praise him praise him he's worth he's worth wouldn't be here tonight if it had not been for the law on my side the glory. He gave you another chance to God. Be the glory. Yeah. He done all the things. He done all the things. He done all the things. He done all the ways he made. All the ways he made for all the ways he made for all the ways y'all ever put your hands together give God some praise the glory come on so God be the glory be the glory for all the things for the things he has done come on give God a hand clap of praise come on y'all can do better than that hallelujah look at somebody say more 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 God did not purpose you to be pretty. He purposed you to produce. And you know what you have not yet produced. You also know what God has been calling you to do. We don't have any chairs left, but that's a good problem. We got two. We'll take them too. Maybe this is your moment. You don't have to enter another year without a connection with God. You do not have to enter another year in a place or in a posture where you're not learning what thus says the Lord. So the doors of the church are open and I want you to make this moment your moment. Today is your day. There's nothing better than knowing Jesus. He will, he will pick you up. So you want to know him, get to know him, don't wait for our tomorrow, today just come, come on sing it, there's nothing better say, than knowing Jesus, 
he gets sweeter sweeter as the days go by you want to know him get to know him don't wait for next week today just come I need everybody to open up your mouth be an ambassador on your road open your mouth say come on right now you ain't gotta wait till sunday wherever you are right now is your moment all you gotta do is come on yeah yeah say right now today just come we're gonna cut the music come on give god praise for this young lady open your mouth say come on come on right now today just comes real quiet i need you to look down your road and ask everybody are you saved tell them say i can't let you walk into 2024 and you ain't got your life in god's hand look down your road ask that neighbor of yours say are you connected to a church home do you know who gonna preach your funeral do you know who's going to marry you? Do you know who's praying for you? Look down that road one more time. Say, neighbor, are you living right? Now, everybody just lied, whatever they said. I want you to look down that road one more time and tell them all you got to do is just come. Put your best preacher voice on. Say, just come on, come on, come on. Come to Jesus just as you are. No matter what you're dealing with, just come. Whatever you're dealing with, God is able to turn that thing around. Just come. He will pick you up and he'll turn your life. If you believe it, help me sing it. He will pick you up and turn. No matter what you've done before, he will turn your life around. Say so you want to know him, say, get to know him. Don't wait for next week or tomorrow. Today just come. Amen. We have Sister Kimberly Lockley. Kimberly. Come on, let's give God praise for her. She came for a word of prayer. And I believe that God is a God who will alter your situation when you come to the altar. And so if you believe in the power of prayer, I want you to stretch your hands towards Sister Kim. Come here, Pastor Meadows. Now, Father, we've heard the word. We thank you for this tree that you planted. You have purpose. We speak into that purpose, that she will live to fulfill that purpose. We thank you now, God, that at this, the crossing over into a new year, that she has the understanding that she cannot do it by herself. Father, thank you because there's so many that should be at this altar right now. But thank you, Father, that wherever we are, and even as we connect our faith with this sister, that God, you know what she needs. You know what her ground needs. You know what her heart needs. You know what her mind needs. You know what her body needs. You know those financial needs. You know the desires of the heart. And we thank you, God. We thank you, God. We thank you that before she ever came to this altar, you were already making provisions. And now I thank you that because she had enough faith to come to this altar, that she will not go back to her seat the same way. She will not go into 24 the same way. And I thank you, Father, that you have purpose even in her mess. 
that you're repurposing it. Thank you that you have ministry in her. Thank you, Father, that you have a testimony in her. We thank you that because of her faith, because of her boldness, because of her recommitment, because of what you're about to do in her life, she's going to be a testimony to her family. She's going to be a testimony to her friends. She's going to be a testimony of what you're able to do. And now, Holy Ghost, I thank you for stirring up. Stir up everything in her, God. Thank you, Father, for stirring and moving her beyond complacency and letting her know she don't have to settle for average. She don't have to settle for mediocre. But thank you that you're doing an incredible work, not only in her life, but over every person that'll dare to connect by faith in this moment. Come on, would you lift your hands all over this building? Holy Ghost, stir something in us that we will leave this place renewed and revived that we will not get in our car the same that we will not leave this parking lot the same we thank you father that you're not just shifting our situation but you're shifting our perspective you're shifting our attitude you're shifting our disposition that when we leave this place they will know that we have been with you and now lord i thank you for strength for the process open her ears to clearly hear you her eyes to see you and give boldness to her feet to walk it out and obey you and we're not going to even wait until the battle is over but we see our sister as a tree producing the fruit of righteousness the fruit of the spirit thank you holy god that where my sister is tonight and where my other sisters and brothers are tonight is not the end of their story so tonight we just gonna go and praise you we didn't make it to this altar but thank you that you're doing an altering even in the pews even in the balcony even in the overflow you're moving through somebody's phone right now you're moving through somebody's computer screen right now and i need everybody to give god 10 seconds of uninterrupted praise let's raise the roof up in this place because it's already done in jesus name he already paid the price victory is already mine and because god is the greatest power we shall never be defeated hallelujah in jesus name church said amen church said amen church said amen again i want you to just look down your road and tell them i ain't no hater Come on, tell them, I'm excited about your future. Come on, look at the road behind you and tell them, I ain't no hater. God going to upgrade all of us. Glory to God. Come on, give God praise. Did y'all learn anything today? I said, did y'all learn anything today? Can we give God praise for Mr. Preacher, Pastor Courtney Meadows? Amen. I want you to extend your hand towards him right where he is. God, we thank you for this vessel. We thank you for his poor. We thank you, Father God, for the more you're about to put in his life. We lift him up to you, dear God. We ask that you would increase his ministry. Increase, Father God, his marriage. And they got a beautiful baby on the way. Take care of that child. And allow them, Father God, to continue to give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. We all shout amen. Give God praise for that oven with that child on in the inside. Mother. We got a new Mother Meadows in the house. <laughs> Y'all make some noise for Lady Nisha. Stand up so they can see you, Nisha. Oh, that's all you got? 
Okay, stand up. Yes, yeah, stand. Amen. Now they see you. Come on, give God praise. <laughs> Amen. We got First Lady Givens in the house as well with my big brother, Bishop Givens. You can stand up. Let them see you. Make some noise for First Lady Givens. And y'all know my beautiful lady. Make some noise for Lady T. Amen. Amen. We got a token. We want to give this to Pastor Meadows. So while he's driving back to Atlanta, he ain't got to stop at the gas station. Treats on new home. Treats on new home. Give God praise for our hospitality ministry. Love you, man. Love you. There's so many preachers in the house. Can the preachers stand up for me? I need them to see you. I saw pre Look, Makari, sit down quick. <laughs> Can the preachers, all the preachers in the house, stand up for me? Gibby, stand up. Come on, let's give God praise for all these preachers. Come, Pastor, what's up, brother? Pastor, love you, man. Love you good to see all these preachers here today I believe God did what God needed to do and if keeping you in here would keep you from going some other places I'd keep you a little bit longer but some of y'all already got plans because I saw it on your face I said longer you said uh uh <laughs> that was not gonna happen please be safe family please have fun but please be safe I want you to go uh, with the seal of God's anointing on your life tonight uh, So myself and these preachers we're going to go to the foyer so that as you walk out we can anoint your head with oil We're praying that God continues to bless you and that you'll see overflow this year Because there's going to be more coming to your house if you believe it shout more 2024 Amen. We're going to pray back here and then I'm going to release y'all. It is 7.30. Look at somebody and say, I see you looking like you looking with your looking self. Amen. Let's pray. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for all that our eyes have seen. We thank you, dear God, for all that our ears have heard. You've been kind to us. You've been good to us. You've told us, God, that you've put us where we are with a purpose in mind you desire for us to produce so God we thank you for all that we've learned we thank you for the neighbor to our left to our right in front or in back that the same breakthrough you give us you're about to give them and God we say thank you now for what you're about to do now unto him who is able to keep us from falling present us faultless before his presence with exceedingly great joy to the only wise God our Savior be majesty dominion and power forever and evermore all of God's children shout amen 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 again. Pastor Walker loves you. Happy New Year.